So in this video, we'll be looking at the valuation of currency swaps. So let's say 60 days ago, a US company, let's say have entered into a one year currency swap with a counterparty. And the transaction here is that the US company will receive 100 million pounds in notional at the initiation and then they will pay 131 million US dollars. Okay, and this will last for 360 days. And then we have the annualized fixed swap rate on the pound as 1.0666% and for dollar is 2.7251%. And currently today, which is after 60 days, we have the updated spot rates for dollar and pound from 30 up to 300 days. And the currency spot exchange rate is now one pound to one dollar and 38 cents. So calculate the value of the currency swap to the US company in pounds. So for this, we'll have to calculate the PV of the US dollar payments and the PV of the pound payments. So we'll first start off with calculating the US dollar payments. Okay, so uh, we'll calculate the PV of these factors. So the PV based on day 30, we've done this before. So we just take one divide by one plus 0 0.025, then multiply by 30 over 360. Okay, and that will give us 0 0.9979. So if we were to continue with the rest, like 120 days, so we'll get 0 0.9911. You can try that out. And then for PV for 210 days, so that will be 0 0.9839. And for the PV for the 300 days rate, so you will get a PV of 0 0.9764. And if you add all these up, you will get 3.9493. Okay, so this is the sum of the PV. Okay, we've got that. Now we need to get the interest, the swap payment. So the swap payment every quarter. Okay, so let's calculate the fixed swap payment. The fixed swap payment every quarter. Is based on a notional of 131 million so that's 131 million then we multiply by the rate for dollar which is 2.7251 percent so that's 2.7251 percent and it's every quarter so that's 90 over 360 so that gives us a fixed swap payment for the US dollar side will be 892,470 every quarter okay on day 90 on day 90, 180, 270, and 360. So just to be clear, on the timeline, okay, if I were to draw the timeline out, you have from day 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. So now you are on day 60, take note, you are on day 60 now. So on day 90, there will be a fixed swap payment of 892,000. On day 180, there will also be another payment, and also on day 270 and day 360. And on top of that, on day 360, you have to remember we uh, we paid the 131 million to the counterparty. So on day 360, you will get this 131 million back. Okay, so you will receive a notional. Okay, a notional of 131 million. So we need to calculate the PV of all these payments. So it's just like a fixed rate bond, but we have to PV it to day 60. So here I have to PV back 30 days, and then here I have to PV back 120 days. From 270, this is 210 days, and then another 300 days for this. Now to do this is very simple. Just we need to break it up into two parts. So for the fixed swap payments, there are four of them. So I'll need to take all these fixed swap payments and multiply it to these four factors. Okay, and if you sum them up, we already have the total. So the PV of the swap payments. So there will be the swap payment which is 892,470 then you multiply by the total PV factor okay so that will give you a total of 3,524,632 3, okay that's done and then for the last notional we have to PV it back as well so the PV of the US dollar notional will be 131 million and then we multiply by the last PV factor, which is uh, from uh, for 300 days. That's 0 0.9764. So that gives us 127,908,400. So we total these two. So the PV of the US dollar leg will be equals to USD 
hundred and thirty one million four hundred and thirty three thousand and thirty two dollars so we're done for this part so we're done for the US dollar leg so the next one will calculate the same amount okay but for the pound leg now onto the pound side okay let's calculate the PV of the factors so same thing for the PV for the 30-day rate so that would be 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0095 multiplied by 30 over 360. So that would give us 0 0.9992. And then if you repeat it for 120 days rate, so that will give you 0 0.9966. And for the PV on day 210, so that will give you 0 0.9933. And for the PV on day tri for 300 days, so that will be 0 0.9901 and if you sum all this up the total PV will be 3.9792 and then we'll calculate the swap payment so the fixed swap payments in pounds will be the notional which is 100 and 100 million pounds and then we multiply by the fixed swap rate 1.0666% and then we multiply by 90 over 360 days so that gives us a swap payment of 266,650 pounds every quarter so we repeat the same thing we did with the US dollar leg we'll calculate the PV of the swap payment so we'll take the quarterly payment and then we multiply by the total PV which is 3.9792 okay so that gives us a PV of a swap payment of 1 million 61 pounds and 54 and for the PV of the notional the pound notional that will be 100 million pounds multiplied by the last PV which is 0 0.9901 so that gives you a notional of 99 million and 10,000 pounds and then if you sum this up Okay, the, you will get a total of 100 million, 71,054 pounds. Okay, so this is the PV of the pound leg. So for a quick recap, so the PV of the US dollar leg that we calculated earlier is US dollar 131433 and 032. So now in this case, uh, the US company, okay, just recall, Okay, so keep in mind that every quarter the US company is actually paying interest in pound because you are holding the pound, you are holding the hundred and hundred million pounds here. So you will pay interest in pounds, okay, and then uh, you will receive interest payments in US dollar because the other counterparty is holding the one hundred and thirty one million US dollar. So in this case, for the from the perspective of the US company, the cash flow is you are receiving USD and pound is a negative, it's a liability. So in this case, when we calculate the value of the swap to the US company, so the value of the swap will be, uh, so keep in mind, pound is negative. So that's negative pound 100 uh, 100 million 71,054 pounds and then we will convert the US dollar to pound by converting at 1.38 so I'll take USD 131 433,032 dollars and I'll convert at 1.38 okay so that will give a lost okay of about 4 million <clears throat> pounds so in the exam, if they ask for the value in US dollars, then you will convert the pound to dollars and then you net off. So it's very simple.